Buttress have been providing heritage consultancy services for over 30 years. Our work covers everything including non-designated heritage assets, conservation areas, right the way up to things like World Heritage Sites. We work for a broad range of clients ranging from domestic building owners who might not know much about the building that they live in and planning consultants who have got complex sites. We also work with multidisciplinary design teams and architectural teams to make sure the design teams are making appropriate decisions based on the significance of the building. We guide clients through the planning process by providing them with evidence-based assessments that will analyse the impact of a potential proposal on our place and all the documents that we produce are written in accordance with the national planning policy and historic England guidance. During the development stage for design teams our work supports project development by articulating where sensitivity is necessary in order to encourage design that's appropriate for the project and for the heritage Asset. We often help clients access grant funding by providing baseline documents that will support their application to organisations such as the National Lottery Heritage Fund and the Architectural Heritage Fund and also later stage development documents such as conservation plans. Research is usually carried out as a two-part process. There's a desktop study section and then there's a primary source study which is consulting things like historic environment records, libraries and archives and then analyse that information and put them into different types of reports. Those reports can be really short, succinct summary documents like heritage context reviews, right the way up to large scale things like conservation plans and heritage partnership agreements. The benefits are quite wide ranging. What it allows us to do is to really give detailed consideration to the heritage elements of a project. Starting to unpick what's important about heritage asset, what might be less important and articulate that understanding very, very clearly to all of the stakeholders involved. It's a, a really kind of wonderful way to start to generate a narrative about that place. So by understanding um, the way that a heritage asset might have come into the world and the role that it's playing now, we can start to then tease out what the future of that heritage asset may be. And it all comes down to a detailed understanding that we generate through our heritage consultancy services.